Hi, I'm Chris Moyer, Senior Director of Content and Research at Z Prime. I'm here at ETS joined by Henry Bailey, the Chief Strategy Officer for Utigration. Henry, thank you so much for sitting down and talking with us and partaking in ETS 19. Thank you. Well, I'm so glad to be here. And uh, I think, you know, the timing of events like this are really critical for the utility industry. I think utilities are going through a lot right now, and being the Chief Strategy Officer, my job is to really try to figure out, you know, what is that next best thing that utilities can do to really get to the next level with customer engagement around the 360 of, you know, of, of customers. So, really happy and excited to be talking to you. Yeah, we're thrilled. And you talked about that next level mm -hmm. and that change that's coming in the industry that, that we're already in the middle of right now. Mm -hmm. uh, that's something that Z, Z Prime has always focused on, ETS has always focused on in our research and our events. And this year's theme is love your energy. Mm -hmm. And to get to that point of loving your energy, uh, I think we have to put the customer first. What does love your energy mean to, to you and, and to you to Gratian? Yeah, so for me personally, of course, you know, I enjoy having, you know, energy, electricity in the morning to wake up and, you know, and get ready for my day. Transportation is now starting to, you know, evolve around new types of energy with electric vehicles and, and just, you know, on Sunday mornings I cook breakfast for my family. That's one of the things I like to do. And so, you know, energy has always been around, you know, all of us, right? But how we are able to, you know, utilize the energy and be aware of it, I think is new for the consumer. Um, pretty much the, you know, the customer is oblivious to electricity until they don't have it or they're, you know, relocating and need it at a new location. So I think the utilities are really challenged with, you know, how do they create that unique product you know, in some cases that is, um, you know, a new type of experience for the customer that may be different than what they've experienced before. I think that's really well put. And it, it sort of speaks to that at the moment, customers think about us when there's a pain point. Mm -hmm. But we need to be thinking about customers all the time. You mentioned that 360 degree view. This is something that other industries are, are, are doing and have done for a few years. How can utilities create a 360 degree view of their customer and, and why should they? Yeah, so, you know, we've heard here at the conference about uh, data, you know, and it can be a, a huge benefit and it can be a liability, right? Depending upon how you use it, uh, how you've collected and then kind of purpose that data, you know, for those uh, insights into the customer. And you know, 360 is the complete circle, right? So that, of course, is why the term is used. So you've got to look at it not from you know a customer head-on, but you know what other aspects of the customer are you looking at? And so you know how you rebrand the utility and other areas, um, new products and services seem to be what's taking hold in utilities, not only here in North America but around the world. And so you look at some of the ways that utilities have started to embrace the customer, creating you know, a, a really positive experience. Even I heard some of them reopening the call centers. You know, in Dubai, for example, you know, the call centers that are, are there are really more of a welcoming you know, environment. Coffee baristas in the waiting area. Um, they do not allow any waiting if there are two people waiting, another service agent comes up to the window. They measure, you know, how well the service was at every step. So I think, you know, those types of things that we're starting to see, not only utilities here, you know, in North America, but really around the world, kind of grasping, you know, the experience and using every opportunity of engagement to increase that value. With that idea of value, the industry, the, the utilities have been investing in grid modernization for mm -hmm. more than a decade now at this point and have been focused on providing reliability because that, that is the initial touch point. Does the light, do the lights come on? Can I make my coffee? Can I make breakfast for my family? But now we need to evolve. Distributed energy resources are coming. Electric vehicles are, well, not just coming, they're here. Right. Electric vehicles are, are, are gaining uh, levels of proliferation. Um, 
what's the future for, for, the, for the industry as a whole and, and how can that customer centricity be a crucial element of it? Yeah, I think you know, it goes back to being able to collect the right data. Mm -hmm. And you know, the utilities also, also have to be concerned about data privacy and collecting this data. You know, and because utilities do have, uh, have, have earned the right to um, have the customer trust them with more data than almost any other business. And so being able to look at you know, how the customer is kind of transitioning their lifestyle, you mentioned the electric vehicle, uh, but if they don't transition into this new paradigm, um, they're really uh, at risk of starting to lose the mind share around the energy that they've owned for so long. Um, Google, Amazon, and others are coming into the market. Shell announced that they want to be the pr you know, producer of electricity um, by you know, 2025 to 2030 and making public statements you know, like that. Uh, and so that means that you know, there's going to be new players, players that have owned the transportation industry are now looking at you know, being able to get into that electric transportation market, right? So uh, Shell bought you know, the green lots, the public uh, charging stations in uh, California. Uh, clearly they know about how to uh, you know, market to the uh, transportation you know, end user, right? With filling up your car now with electricity instead of you know, petroleum products. And so I think you know, that's where utilities really have to start looking at all aspects of the consumer you know, and, and how they utilize um, energy uh, in, in their daily lives. Well, with that customer first approach, I think utilities uh, can maybe foster a sense of uh, cooperation, competition with the shells and, uh, as we look forward. Um, Henry, any, any big thoughts that what have you really seen at, at ETS that, that, has, that you're going to take away and, and, mm -hmm. and take out to the, to the wider world? Well, one of the things at, at Utigration that we're doing is we're looking at you know, how utilities need to set a vision because that really kind of starts the strategy, right? So you know, w when, when I'm looking at you know, how to service utilities, which you know, I've been in the utility industry for 30 years or more, and so I, I see others who are in that same, uh, you know, lifelong career, you know, choice. And, you know, utilities really are focused on, you know, doing things right and have a passion, you know, for their business, right? So the love your energy is also an uh, introspective view from the utilities perspective. We believe that, certainly. Right? Yeah. So, you know, I think that, you know, what we're doing at Utigration is how do we take you know, that love of, of what they do and carry that out, you know, to communicate into, the, into that customer community and help them set the strategy, you know, that can really take them to the next level. And we've been doing this for 10 years. We only do utilities. Mm -hmm. And so that focus allows us to, you know, really think day and night about how to help the utility. Thank you so much for sitting down with me today and sharing the Utigration story and what Love Your Energy means to you. Thank you so much. Thanks, Henry.